Oh, what's up? Uh, today, I want to talk about your anchor factor trademark, Robbie. This is um, one of the most important things I ever discovered because I've been fucked around with in life so much. Up, down, left, right, uh, various events that fucked me over, that didn't happen the way I wanted them to happen. I've been kicked around, I've had, I've been inspired in all the wrong ways, and I've been destroyed <laughs> in all but the worst manners. And the reason that happened, the reason these events could happen, was because I did not have my anchor, and most likely neither do you. Almost no one I know has an anchor. Now what is an anchor factor? The anchor factor is the one thing in your life that never changes. That you could be happy, sad, stressed, you know, good things could be happening, bad things could, could be happening. It's that thing that no matter what, you always come back to. And it's like a flashlight that shows you just a few feet ahead where to go and it doesn't matter how foggy it is you always know what's the direction and for some people athletes for example it may be their desire to be the best at their sport so no matter what their anchor is practicing every day like Michael Phelps does he, he practices seven days a week uh, it could be my anchor factor, which is my daily goals that I do no matter what. And if you don't have that, uh, one of several things might happen. On one hand, a good thing could happen, which is bad. Because if you become successful, most of the time uh, that causes entitlement. And that causes you to believe that your success is is entitled and that you deserve it and so you stop uh you stop doing the very things that cause the success to happen in the first place now on the negative side of things um by the way on the positive you could also have a person enter your life that you know makes you feel really good but you kind of forget about your goals because of it and uh, again, on the negative side, uh, it could be um, something really bad happened, something depressing that made you really sad. It could be something just stressful as fuck that you're so stressed you can't even manage yourself. And when you don't have that anchor factor, you tend to get into these problems or these victories and lose yourself in them and you wake up only you know weeks or months or years later realizing how much time you just wasted and how much progress you just lost like i said i've been through some pretty damn tough shit and if i did not have my anchor factor that thing which i could always go back to the stress would have just killed me like i'm not even kidding i would, I would just be dead or something because when you're under so much pressure either sadness or even pressure to be happy sometimes the pressure is 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 up it's like yeah stop you know you can rest it's fine you know you deserve it you know focus on me stuff like that if i did not have my anchor factor i'd be do i'd be done <laughs> there, there wouldn't be a video right now and uh much less uh progress towards my dreams so you have to make sure that you have that one thing in your life that no matter how good it gets or how bad it gets keeps you anchored and that you can repeatedly do uh, every day it's that one factor that amidst all the chaos it's one constant that never changes so it doesn't matter if you have a good day or a bad day or a stress day or whatever you just do it every day and that way you guarantee 
progress. That's why I stress so much in my videos that I do my ha my daily habits because that's my anchor. You know, somebody else might try to promote another anchor, and I'm like, look, it doesn't matter if I'm depressed, I still get better. It doesn't matter if I'm sad, I get better. It doesn't matter if it's a stressing time, I get better. It doesn't matter if I win, I keep getting better. It's because I have that anchor factor. It's because I have that thing where I always go back to it and the life sort of turns into the background. Does that make sense? Your life goes to the background. So everything that happens in life, it's secondary. And the main thing is always the anchor. So as your life gets better and better, you stay humble and you keep doing what makes your life get better and better. And that way it doesn't, it doesn't stop. I believe that this is probably the biggest reason that most people give up in life and most people uh, just end up becoming mediocre and stopping is that they, every, they all once had a dream but they tried, you know, they failed, maybe it didn't work out, maybe people um, telling them, you know, to stop got to them. Either way, uh, they did not have that anchor, that thing where they're like, I'm going to keep doing this till I'm fucking dead. And if you don't have that, if you, if you right now can't point to that thing, that anchor where you're like, this is my fucking anchor. I go back to this thing every single day and I'm not going to stop no matter what. If you don't have that, I feel sorry for you because it means that when a storm comes and it will, could be a good storm, could be a bad storm you're not going to make it because you're not you, you won't be able to throw the anchor down say fuck no i'm sticking right here <laughs> and it's going to drag you and then you know in good times your priorities change to laziness in bad times your priorities change to fixing the problem and it basically you you live more in reactiveness than in actual proactiveness and that's why everybody gets mediocre lives because all their efforts are basically um, divided into all directions so a bit of the good a bit of the bad a bit of the lazy a bit of the active and then what you get you get just average you get nothing so it doesn't work that way you know you want to go big you need to be single-minded focused on one thing on growth and um, like I said there's many anchors could be an athletic anchor it could be my anchor where I want everything so I just have habits for everything so it doesn't matter if I have a good day or a bad day I'll do all my habits I'll still meditate as hard as it gets to meditate when you're in a tough situation I'll still uh, do the coaching call every day it does as hard as it gets uh, I'll still do the workout you know I'll still make my videos doesn't matter how I feel and that way you know the funny thing is that <laughs> that actually guarantees that I get out of the problem. Because if the problem is emotional, meditation usually solves it. If the problem is financial, you know, growing, getting more money solves it. So actually by attacking the problem itself, I'm not going to make the progress that I want. But by attacking at a higher level, by moving forward, I'm also solving the problem instead of staying on it. So I actually save time. So I hope this concept makes sense. Um, I'm sorry that I haven't um, elaborated more on actually finding your um, anchor, but you'll, you'll know how in the next video. Uh, so it'll be like a two-part video. And, um, and if after that you still are not completely sure how to actually create your anchor, please message me and I'd love to help you for free. So let me know. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't. And uh, as you can understand, I do coaching. So contact me if you need.